Okay, we is live right now. Live from the village right now. Big up for the like right now. Appreciate people coming through right now. Wagwan people. It is Monday the 19th of April. 9.16. Well, 16 minutes past 9 p.m. Big up, y'all. Big up, big up, big up. We're about to do a movie night. I haven't done a movie night for a long time. Like, I can't even remember the last time I did a movie night, but it was a long time ago. A long time ago. So, yeah, we're back to another movie night. This was a recommended uh, movie, actually. Um, recommended that I check this movie out, Soul Survivor. And I thought, like, you know what? I haven't done a movie night for a long time. Let me uh, do this as a movie night. It seems... Oh, yo, Epic Monkey Wagwan. Two streams in a row. Well, you know, let's try to keep up. We try to keep up, you know, try to do as much as we can while we can. That's the whole thing, yeah? That's the whole thing. Well, big up for coming through, Monkey. Big up. Um, but yeah, this is Soul Survivor. It's a 1984 movie. Um, as, it looks like it's a public domain movie. I was trying to find out that it was kind of stuff. And it looks like it's a public domain movie. So yeah, I should be able to show this movie on stream, which is awesome. Because usually with movies or anything that just outside the public domain, you can't show them on stream. Because, um, you, you, I mean, you see when I do reactions to that music videos sometimes and they get blocked, you know, it, it's, so it's, it's awkward. But this looks like it's public domain. You know, I did a few tests <laughs> and it seems like it's uh, it's okay to show this on stream um, outside of maybe a few um, songs that might get claimed. But uh, one or two, I think it was one, uh, one song that might get claimed. It is what it is, but as long as I could actually show it on stream with no pr issues, then we good. Um, so, let's do that. Let's uh, get into this. This is uh, Souls of Arvin, 1984. I have my ceiling lights off because it's a horror movie, so we're going to watch this in the dark. Well, apart from my light here, because if I turn that off, then <laughs> it's just nothing. So, my main lights are off, just a little bit of lights that come through. Um, and also, real quick as well, if you are wanting to watch along, I mean, I'm not going to have the movie on screen anyway, but if you want to watch it along, is it, you, actually, you can actually watch this on YouTube. Um, that's where I'm seeing it right now. Um, Soul Survivor 1984 um, on YouTube. Uh, they took me to the hospital uh, yesterday. Damn, I hope you're okay, man. How you doing? Um, and anybody, if you, especially if you're watching a replay of this and you want to watch it along, I would say that I'm watching this movie for the first time. I've not seen this movie before. Uh, um, though that being said, if you're watching this movie for the first time, it may not be the best way to experience this movie. <laughs> Watch it for the first time because yeah, we're gonna be talking. Um, I might pause. I might. I don't. We'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today. So, Soul Survivor. Big up for everybody coming through. Let's get into this. Epic Monkey was in the hospital. So let's all wish um, um, Epic Monkey a speedy recovery. Hope you're doing well, Monkey. Hope you're doing well. Um, let me know what's up. But yeah, big up to everybody in the house. Let me know how you do. Let me know how your day's going. Let me know how your day's been. Appreciate you joining the live stream. As we now get in to Soul Surviving. Let me switch over to this screen. So y'all can see what I can see. And it took a blood test to see if I have a disease. I do not know its name in English. Oh, man. Well, hopefully that comes back negative. Hopefully that comes back negative, man. But, boy. How you feeling though, just in general? You feeling okay? Let me put this uh, tiny needle on my on my arm. That feeds me. Oh, that feeds and keeps me away from. Oh, okay, okay. For like, I know. Oh yeah, what they call intravenous uh, feeding. Okay, I know what you mean. This is a movie. This is a movie. Yeah, we're about to watch a movie. It's called Soul Survivor, 1984. About to press play on this. So uh, let's press play. See what Soul Survivor gotta say. Oh, let me turn this off actually. There we go. I am good now. Cool. That's glad you're doing well, man. Glad you're doing well. Let me know if this is coming through okay. Let me know the audio and all that if it's coming through okay. Hopefully it is it should be. But let me know if there's any issues. Let me turn this up a little bit. Just a tad. Lost, but it's pretty scary. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. Yo, Samantha! I'm here for the gore. Hopefully, we get some good gore. It's a 1980s horror, so yeah. There were some gory horror movies back in the 80s. I don't know if this is one of them or not, because I've never seen it before. But uh, it looks like it's a movie that we're allowed to. or okay to show and stream. It's a, I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a public domain movie. I was trying to find out. And it's see as best as I could find, this is a public domain movie. 
So uh, we should be okay to show this on stream without getting blocked or anything like that. So, uh, but yeah, hopefully there's some good gore in this. We got Sam in the house, Monkey in the house. Pick up everybody coming through. And turn us up a little bit more. Let me know if it's if the audio and everything's coming through. Okay. So negative. I'm good. Okay, that's good. That's good, man. Glad to hear it, man. Monkey's doing all right. We don't. We don't need a sick monkey. Produced by Don. Okay, I missed that. <coughs> oh no, not the '80s movie. Hey, '80s movies were classics, man. Well, maybe not all of them. There were some terrible '80s movies, to be fair. But this was a recommended movie. Um, I was rec it was recommended I should check this movie out. So I was like, yeah, let's check it out. Then let's check it out together. It's so loud. <laughs> You know what? Some of my. F oh, well, there we go. <laughs> we just got our first scream. <laughs> we just got our first scream after Monkey said about being loud. But glad it didn't disappoint. You know, I just realized something. I probably should have checked on the movie database to see if there's any like nudity or anything like that in this movie. <laughs> this this could be real awkward if um. I'm just saying, you know, sometimes AC's movies get a bit naughty. But sometimes movies now get a bit naughty. But back in the 80s, it was, you know, very naughty. So, um, boy, I probably should have checked. But you know what? If uh, if if I pause real quick or or turn it off real quick, <laughs> I think we're okay. Oh wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you know what? I might need to put something over this screen. <laughs> I might need to put something over this screen. But I think we're okay. But note to self, check first. Uh, can't get any worse than the uh, concert screaming from the chick from Chainsaw Massacre. Ooh, Chainsaw Massacre. I haven't seen that movie for ages. That's a classic, though. That was a 70 something, I think it was, wasn't it? I might need to be real quick at this movie, because, boy. Alright. I ain't trying to get in trouble with YouTube. But then again, this movie is on YouTube, so it's got to be fine, right? I mean, you could actually... This movie is posted on YouTube. Like... Denise Watson. Is that what you woke me up for? Do you know if she's taking a flight out this morning? Well, how the hell should I know that? Put a wholesome image of a ferret on the screen. Honest to God, Carla, don't start this crap again. Asking you to do I might need to do that real quick. Find a picture of a ferret. Yo, what up, Zebra Plane? Free movie. Well, indeed. Well, kind of. That you think their producer is going to be killed. Not killed. Fine, then everything's all right. Go back to bed. Oh, same old story. She hasn't worked in six years. This commercial's her last chance to get her face in front of the public, and she wants to start making her midnight calls. Right. Pick up a you oh unicorn, that'd be a good one. Let me find a unicorn. So what have I kept so far? She's an actress and not a big and majestic unicorn. Oh, this is a nice one. Climb and maintain 6,000. All right. Con 86, contact Bishop Control at 6,000. Metropolitan, this is Con 86. We have a light on our panel. All right. 
Alright, here we go. We uh, find this picture that I just saved now. What am I looking for? Media, here we go. I mean, ferrets are cool, dude, but i got to admit, unicorns are better than ferrets. I can't lie, man. Unicorns are better than ferrets. Jesus. And they exist as well. People don't believe unicorns exist. They do exist. Unicorns are real. Alright, so there's my giant unicorn. I might need a bigger one actually. This one don't. <laughs> you need ferret. <laughs> can you tell me your name? Denise what? Denise, can you tell me your middle name? Lynn. Easy. Denise Lynn Watson. Denise, were you traveling alone? Yes. How many made it? Just you, I'm afraid. Oh. You're one lucky lady. I saw the move. I lived with my grandmother after that. Alright. Pretty well okay for now. But I might need to be quick on that uh that unicorn thing. I'll be real quick. Can't buy poverty either. What about you? Yeah. But this is uh, if you see this, that means the film might have gone a little bit too naughty. That's what that means. If you see that, that means there's some naughty things going on. Yo, what up, Danny? Who's Charlie? Charlie? Oh, Charlie the Unicorn. That's um, I'm not Charlie the Unicorn. You know, this doesn't feel like it's. I could. Can you hear it okay? Because it feels quiet in my ears. Like it really actually feels quiet in my ears. And I've got it on full volume. Can you guys hear the uh, movie okay? As far as I'm concerned, you're paroled. I'd like you to continue to see Dr. Weber for that stiffness in your shoulder. Let's try this. A couple of months for it to work itself out. Is that better? Oh, by the way, there are reporters downstairs. How many? A couple from the papers and a crew from Charlie the Nicole, yeah. Charlie Nicole, yeah. Charlie Nicole was, um... There's nothing else in the news for eight days. Well, it's a pretty big thing. People oh. Not coming to those llama guys. How do you feel, Denise? Unicorn at 80. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. I'm the miracle girl. Did you see me in the news? Denise. Dee okay? We, um... Odd. Depressed? I have reasons for asking. I feel odd. I don't know. Man, this film feels so... Cheap, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> it looks so cheap. Denise, Dee Dee. There's a psychological condition called survivor syndrome. Now, a person in your position can often feel guilty. All right, yeah, she survived something, didn't she? That killed everybody else. A person in your position may even feel unworthy of survival. Nice try, but that's not it. I feel neither guilty nor unworthy. Well then, you tell me. So quick. It's like once I bought this dress at I Magnum's. Expensive, so I charged it. And it never showed up on my bill. So I thought, great, a mistake in my favor. I'll just keep my mouth shut. Oh, she stole the dress. Kind of the same thing I felt when I came to after. That's only good as far as it goes. Like, I'm a cause and effect person. Now, I knew why I never got the bill for my magnet. It was because the computer screwed up. But as far as me being alive... They'll knock the low budget horror movies. They're awesome. Hey, this is it. This is it. Just because they ain't got no mu not much money don't mean they ain't got much style. Yes. I'm trying to get someone to help me. Some of the best movies out there are made, are made cheap. Stop everything we're doing every time somebody needs help. I realize that for sure. My name's Christy Cutler. I'm Denise Watson's neighbor. And I'm supposed to. 
Gotta go. Uh, gotta to stop by. Yo, appreciate coming through Zebra Plane. Hopefully next time you stay a little bit longer. Remember, big up, big up to you. Take care of yourself and each other. Okay, just point me in the right direction. Go down here, take the elevator down, follow the hallway out, and it'll let you off at the loading dock. Until next time. Dee Dee, do me a favor. Will you keep it in mind that what happened was just luck, pure and simple? I mean, don't make anything more out of it. It's just like that dress you never got billed for. Oh, I got billed for it, all right. Those stupid computers. They may make a mistake, but they eventually find you. <laughs> Maybe that's a metaphor. What I hear because the computer messed up. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what she said. You got it right in tiny though. How'd you do that? That's great. Oh, yeah, she got a free dress because the computer messed up, but the computer charged her in the end because it corrects itself. So perhaps. That whole survivor's thing, perhaps as a metaphor. I'm a patient. I mean, I was a patient. It was sort of arranged that I could lead through a back door. The door is right around that door. <laughs> it's Make coming sure out through the back door. Sending people down here. What do they think this is, a fun zone? I guess coming out through the back door is a bit different from going in through the back door. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Until, yeah, yep. Yeah. Are you all right? Oh, there's a little girl standing there. That's not good. You know that's not good. Whatever that is, it's not good. Are you supposed to be in the hospital? Are you sick? If you want, I can take you inside. Oof. <laughs> How close was that? Hey, what are you trying to do? Nobody's in there, is it? There's nobody in there. <laughs> of course there's nobody in there. Where you been? I've been waiting all over for you. Did you see that? I was recently about a killer microwave yeah? or other uh, it made this dude a cannibal. A uh, low budget and bag of <laughs> but it was enjoyable, hey. It's the little things in life, isn't it? It's just the little things in life. I think sometimes with movies, if if you have like a, a good plot, even if the story itself is a bit nonsense, if you just have a good plot and you know some decent storytelling, even again, the story that itself does have great, but just some decent storytelling. But you can get away with a lot. Like you can have the cheapest, lowest budget movie, but as long as you got a few things in place, I think you can get away with a lot and still pull it off. Yeah, we had a German Shepherd like that once. Listen, I'm going to a party tonight. There'll be guys there. Yeah, you forget I've seen some of the guys you hang out with. Boy, I hope I never get that hard up. <laughs> They're all gray in the dark. <laughs> This is so 80s, man. I don't know what she said. She said all the boys she hangs with are great in the dark. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This is, this is very 80s. It might look cheap. But this is very 80s. It looks like a haunted house. I uh, know oh it's uh, a Roblox kid uh, that pretends to be emo. <laughs> You know, that could be worse than if it was a, like a horror kid with secret powers. Uh, the best low budget movie I've seen is Super Mario Brothers movies. Oh, okay. I remember that movie. But we talked about it the other day, wasn't it? I won't 
keep you. Oh no no. That's Boy, all right. Dog. <laughs> this isn't a yep. professional call, is it? I mean, this isn't part of the outpatient service. No no. I just got home and I thought I'd give you a call to see how you were feeling. Uh, hang on, just a second, okay? She actually put the phone up before she pressed the hold button. That would cut the phone off. I'm pretty sure she put the phone down right before she pressed it off. Oh, look at her getting comfortable. Hi, I'm back. This was really very sweet of you. Well, to tell you the truth, I, uh, I sort of got used to stopping in and seeing She might be seeing him in the dark. And I was also thinking And if she does, you might see this. <laughs> what was that? How well, about your cure for the blues? Work is okay, but I, I don't think you should overdo it. Oh, well, you may be right. I've got this coffee spot to do on Tuesday. She might be pa she might be a patient, but he's gonna have to be patient. What was what was that? Yes or no? Sorry. Nope. You sure? Nine out of ten doctors prefer roasters blend. Well, I don't. Ah, so you're the tenth doctor. I was wondering who you were. <laughs> Chai. Yeah, I think we're gonna do more movie nights. Definitely gonna do more movie nights. I haven't done one for a while, but yeah, definitely note to self. Check the content of the movie before <laughs> showing it. Oh, I have another call. I gotta hang up. Listen, don't be so judgmental about what I do. If you are, drop by sometime. I'll do it. Tuesday, maybe. Yeah. Tuesday, maybe. About two thirty, three. Sure. Yeah. She wants that good. She wants the good doctor to um, you know. Yeah. Okay, placing the call on. Replacing the call with a llama, please. Uh, I have to, to. You have to do this. The unicorn with a llama. What was that um? What's the name of that llama? Was it Carl? Wasn't it? Was it Carl the llama? There we go. Is that better? Oh, there's that kid again. You have to be more careful. Yes, hello? Yes, it is. Who is this? This is Carla Davis. I'm sorry. They gave me your number, the, the agency. She got a push button phone. This is 984. They got push button phones. They, they must be like pretty well off. We used to have rotary phones back in the 80s. I was wondering how you were. I'm fine. This is just perfect. <laughs> Imagine somebody calling you up out of the blue and just saying, I just want to tell you, keep your doors locked. Like, even if you don't strictly speaking believe them, that's that's still pretty, like, you know what I mean? Like, that, 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 hmm. Wait a second. 
Pizza Cooch Pizza has uh, vitals. <laughs> Doing out there anyway. Give me a credit card number to remove it. <laughs> Somebody's out there falling for that, you know. Blown away when I told you you were my neighbor. We both look pretty blown away. Like I was wondering if you were heavy into God. Do you like pray a lot or meditate or something? Roxy's really into that stuff. Because I was wondering, why you, man? Out of all those people. Raw. This is gonna go straight into it. Think about it. It is kind of weird. Yo, Crank Greedo. From her Malibu Beach home. Yeah, Crank Ken, Ken recommended his uh, movie. Big up, Ken. Have another cup of coffee. Read yep, Soul Survivor. We're watching it live. But the coffee you're keeping you awake tonight. Oh nonsense! It's Roasters Blend. As an actress, I learned the value of a good night's sleep. That's why I drink By the way, Ken, you've seen this movie, so you know, but Movie Database said uh, there's some naughty scenes in there, so if any of those scenes pop up, you're going to see this, because <laughs> I ain't trying to get in trouble with YouTube. This movie is by Final Destination, uh, but this is uh, better than that. I saw Final Destination. It was alright. I mean, I didn't think it was great, but... I'm getting an ulcer. We're not getting our money's worth out of this. Right. This is more. This is very. Um. Did anybody notice the way she acted around me? I'll say slower pace. I think is a good way to describe this movie. Yeah, so nervous at one point she could hardly hold a coffee cup. Well, look, you were in charge, and she's screwing up. No, that's not it. She phoned me last week. What did she want? I don't know. I didn't know. About 23 minutes in. She said she was sorry for calling me and just hung up. Well, something's biting her, that's for damn sure. Can we drop some of the key lights on Carla? Maybe Back when girls look like they put too much glue in their head to glue their hair. As long as they actually use hair glue and not gorilla glue, I think they're okay. Yeah. Can I call you Denise? Dee I'd like to apologize for Snake from Harry Potter. No need to yes. I just wish I knew what was bothering her. Well, to tell you the truth, I think she was drinking. Uh, she drinks. She makes phone calls. I see. Look, I've spoken to her about it. A Golden Globe nominated actress. I'm guessing not for this movie, though. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and guess it wasn't for this movie. <laughs> Can we uh, keep this just between the two of us? No problem. Carl. Funny you should show up right now, because I was just getting an uncontrollable urge to scream. <laughs> Is there a doctor in the house? I saw her once in one of those beach movies. I thought she was pretty foxy at the time. This doctor's trying to get in her. He's already been in her, now he wants to get in her. <laughs> Riders of the Wild Turks? I thought Carla Davis... That's the only person not seen a single Harry Potter film. You know what, you just might. <laughs> you just might be. You know what, they, um... Very popular movies. I've only seen all of them. I was in the eighth grade when that came out. Riders of the Lost Surf. I've only read one book though. I read one of the books and I saw all of the movies. And the thing is I didn't necessarily like the movies. I mean they were okay, but I wasn't like a fan. I just watched all the movies. This is kinda of how that goes sometimes. It just Sometimes you watch movies, even if you don't, strictly speaking, like them. I mean, I don't hate them. They're not terrible films, don't get me wrong. But I think under any other circumstance, I probably would have maybe watched one and not bothered with the rest. But I think because it's Harry Potter, I was kind of like, yeah, I want to watch all of them. <laughs> I want to watch all of them. I did really like the book, though, when I read the book. It was, it was a really good book. You know, it seems to me you're taking a lot of interest in me. I mean, didn't you say that yeah. you like emergency Yeah. He's trying to get in that. And she, she's, uh, she's interested. So I'll spoil the whole thing for you. <laughs> Did you see that creepy wet church? Yes, yeah, he's uh, standing in the parking lot. Yeah, we saw that. Oh, he wants to be in the boy. He wants to be, yeah, he's trying to get to be that boiler dog, okay? 
We might be showing some llamas in a moment. This is an assertion training. This is the first time it's really paid off. We might have to show some llamas. It's so tame now, but we might be seeing llamas soon. Open up the fridge, help mama. My mind's gone blank. I can't think of anything original. I didn't even clean up my apartment. It's really a mess. Reminds me to zip in. Want to see it? This is very unprofessional. She's trying to show him her apartment. Countryside all around. I have to be on duty. She wants to show her, show him her apartment. And he's trying to get her to, you know, well, spread something apart. Meant. Okay, I lost a pun in there, but it, it's, it's there somewhere. I lost it. Who kisses like that? <laughs> Apparently, 80s doctors do. <laughs> Apparently, that's how 80s doctors kiss, just like that. I don't know. I've never been an 80s doctor, so I guess I can't really comment, but. The way I see it, if it's no, if there's no tongue, it doesn't count. Like that's that's my that's my rule. If, if there's no tongue, it don't count as a kiss. It's just it's more of a like a peck. You know what I mean? Me and Hayes don't don't kiss people. Do sexual is against their religion. Um. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got the young boy that was an old man just standing there now. Just to the. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, I think we're about 25 or so minutes into it. Yeah, or almost 30 minutes into it. So, yeah. It didn't say which parts are the, are the, are the llama parts. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I was just thinking about that old man in the park. I think we're okay, but just in case. I don't know why a crazy old drunk should get on my nerves like this. There's just something so riveting about I don't know who that man is. I won't say nothing. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, maybe if you stop talking about him, you'll forget him. It's, not, it's nothing too bad right now, but it's just that might, that might switch soon. So, uh, just in case. It was great. It's just Carl for now. Really? Mm -hmm. It's a little sus, bro. <laughs> Well, no, because I studied all this stuff. Well, just like in the books, accelerated heartbeat, involuntary muscular reaction, increased respiration. Okay, head for you. Cool. Oh, doctor. What cool, cool. Why? Oh, I'd hate to think that what I thought was passion turned out to be an asthma attack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, please, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, there. It's not, it's not too naughty, but just a little bit naughty right now. Just a little bit naughty. So uh, Carl stays up for the moment. He's Giovino uh, Giorgio, but his uh, friends call him Giorgio. No extreme nudity. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I read on a movie database what's in there. Um, it doesn't look like it gets super, but even still, it's just you know you gotta gotta respect YouTube rules. Gotta respect the rules. God, where's the fire? But the thing about YouTube is that I swear they have different rules for different people. Like it, it seems that way at least anyway. I don't know if that's true or not. But it seems they have different rules for different people. Because like some channels like get away with showing some nasty things, yeah. And other channels seem to like you can't even It's like I, I can't even make a joke about Joe Biden, you know what I mean? It's like it's ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous. So I'm not sure what the rules are. I'm just like, you know what? Let me just not even. The hospital? You mean you're going in now and you're going to be there until tomorrow afternoon? Yep. Split shift. There's been a little shake up. So people have been suspended. Yeah. Uh, that's a Donald Trump llama. <laughs> T shield activate. <laughs> um, can't show sex scenes on YouTube, but uh, you can watch porn half for free. It's it's a yeah. I mean, the world is just. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Some joke. 
And just within YouTube itself, like the YouTube rules within its own platform just seems so inconsistent from one channel to another. You know, I mean, maybe there's things that I don't know. Maybe there's other things to it that I don't get, you know, I don't see, but it just seems so inconsistent. The body disappeared right after she was brought in. Did you put the opening scene the where they showed uh, severed bodies in the plane crash? I did not actually. <laughs> oh wait, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I, no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. I don't think YouTube are okay. I think with that stuff, I don't think they're okay with like boobies. So they're okay with violence. You can't, sh you can't show boobies. That's that's. Uh, I think that's the rules on YouTube. You can show decapitated bodies, but you can't show boobies. I think that's how it goes. Something like that, anyway. I don't watch Pornhub, just to be clear. I believe you. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, I think we're okay anyway. I didn't show that. Cool. Rich, we're okay. That was close, though. That was close. But I think we're okay. Um, no, nah, it's cool. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't watch that either. I haven't watched porn for a long, 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 long time now. I don't, I don't I'm not. It doesn't do it for me, to be honest. It just doesn't. They, I mean, there was a time in my life where I was watching that stuff like way too much. But yeah, nah, not these days. It's um, it, it, I, I, I feel, I feel when it comes down to it, it it's. When you realise how unrealistic it is, it just doesn't. It, it, that's all you can. It, it doesn't feel. You don't feel anything. For me, at least, I just don't feel anything from it. You know. Man, plus I'm too young. Yeah, stay away from that stuff, man. No good for you. I remember this scene coming up. Okay. Oh, what have we got here? Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Sex of virginity forever. I'm making a gang, virginity gang, virginity gang for life. V gang. Well, we're not forever. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you want to have kids one day or something. I mean, I guess it is possible to have kids to stay a virgin. It is possible, like you could, you know, put your sperm in a bank or something, or uh, donate to a, I don't know, you could do it that way. <laughs> but I'm just saying. Just watch it. V gang. I was at one of my friends' uh, streams, and a kid came in. Oh no! Uh, Where's she looking? I'm sorry, she's looking at me. I'll well, tell her to stop it. I can't read it. Was it Samoan? Was was that saying? There's no audio. Wait. Any sense? Sex uh, animation hot HD. Okay. Naughty kid. I'm pretty sure you got kicked. Well, yeah. Again? I think that computer's about to catch up with her in real life. Good luck getting Hakame sucker. She dumped his ass. What's Hakame? Was that Hong Kong something? Let's watch. It's a slow burner. It's um, well, about thirty-five minutes in. So yeah, we've got a little while. Um, got less than an hour really to go. Shouldn't be up here during the remodeling. The elevator hasn't been working right. 
I just have to be careful though. Got to keep my finger on that unicorn or oh, sorry on the, on the llama button. Look, if this commercial tests well, you could be doing a whole series of these things. But you cross those guys downstairs and you've had it. I mean, you don't know what they're like. They'll put out the word on you. The word's out. The word's out. <coughs> She's scared of her. When I was 18, all this stuff started. We might find out why. Do you know Ed Pollock? I was in this film he was producing. Mr. Pallock's Smoking it indoors, you know. Wow. Only I knew about it even before he told everyone. When was the last time you saw somebody smoke indoors? I started having nightmares. Something was wrong with the baby. It was born a girl, I think. It didn't live long. The psychic knows what will happen. Well, they should. <laughs> it would be a very good psychic otherwise. I dreamed about. But when you try to tell people about your nightmares, they think you're drunk. Hey, for you're real. Crazy. They don't have no rules back then about smoking indoors. But I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. But half the people in this business think they're psychic. Did Blake tell you I tried to stop you from taking that plane? I do miss smoking. Ooh. No, he didn't. But so what? I didn't die. I never saw you die. I saw you Ooh, excuse me. Die. Wait, let me... Hold on a sec. Let me hold it up again. Let me hold it again. I saw, okay. I saw you not die. No one can stop it. You miss smoking. Smoking bad for your health. Anyone who knows about it, or anyone who even suspects, will be dealt with. Well, I hear it's a good stress relief, so uh, <laughs> maybe. I'm sorry. Fire exit, please keep door closed. Mm. Yeah, I tried smoking when I was in school for a little bit. I don't really get into it too much, like just a few cigarettes and stuff, but I, I just couldn't get into it for for whatever reason. Like I remember trying to be a smoker. I can I can remember that trying. I can remember trying like buying the cigarettes and trying to be a smoker and I, I just couldn't get into it, it just wasn't ah. in the end it just wasn't for me it just wasn't for me probably for the best I guess <laughs> but yeah watch the next scene what just the next scene and not the rest of it Come on. Uh, elevator Brock. Uh, I just uh, on a year ago glad I did, but uh, every now and then I miss. Nah. Nah, it's a, it's a good thing to um be away from in the in the end. But yeah, I get that. Especially if you, I guess, if you did it for a long time, like getting out of that habit can can be a thing. Wait, you have a shop? Um, I do have a shop actually. If you like to buy something from it, please do. No pressure, of course. No um, what'd you call it? Uh, what's the word? Obligation. But yeah, there's a couple of t-shirts on there and things like that. So yeah, yeah. Hello? Check them out. Check them out. Help a brother out, you know what I mean? Pandemic's been hard, man. Pandemic's been hard, so if you can help a brother out, it'd be cool. Underground parking lot scene. The staple of all uh, of all horror movies. If your horror movie doesn't have an underground parking lot scene, you're just not doing it right.
It's the girl version of Rick Esley. <laughs> Never gonna give you all. Just assumed he was a thief, though. Like, come on. Hey, I don't have any... Not even, like, hello. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> not, not even hi. Not like that. Just like, oh, I don't have any money. Just assumed he was going to rob her. Like, raw. That's just rude. He's not going to mug you. He's going to kill you. Like, duh. <laughs> That's Logan's addicting. Indeed it is. Well, so I've heard too much, I suppose. I would, but I don't have a credit card, nor a job. Nah, it's all good. Don't worry about it, ma'am. No pressure, no obligation. You got back in the same elevator you already knew didn't work, though. Like, come on, be smart about it. He's probably just like... I'm going to the ground floor. Oof. Close. Ain't he sexy? Well, he's kind of got that, um... Who am I thinking of? Uh... Living La Vida Loca. Who's that guy that sang Li Living La Vida Loca? He's kind of got that kind of look to him. Like an older version of him. Upside, inside, oh, out, living like the that look guy. That guy. Imagine him, but older. That's 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 that's, that's kind of that's kind of vibe he's got. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, monkey. Oh, you know what? He does look like the guy from. Oh, you mean um Charles Bronson? Something. Is that that's not Charles Bronson? Is it though? Is that Charles Bronson? Let me let me look at him. That's not Charles Bronson. Oh, your computer has a virus. That's what I couldn't put my finger out in the hospital. That's not Charles Bronson. Charles Bronson is not in this movie. Let me let me see. Knew your mom had found out, and you're just waiting for the axe to fall. Yeah, that's not Charles Bronson. But yeah, he does kind of look like him, still, doesn't it? He does kind of look like him. Well, there's a little more to it. A large percentage of the people who are sole survivors of catastrophic accidents, like the one you went through, die themselves within 24 months. Die? Of what? Suicide. I don't mean they blow their brains out or anything, but uh, some do. They just get careless. Step Is he trying to help her or, or scare her? Like, what the hell? Maybe... Places where they uh, don't judge me, but I thought Ted Bundy was. You know what? A lot of a lot of people did actually. Um, Ted Bundy. Um, that's one of the reasons why he was able to get away with. Um, um, well, what he did for so long because a lot of people thought he was a good-looking guy. So yeah, you are not alone in that. You are definitely not alone in that. That was the thing. He was a good-looking guy. You know, a lot of women trusted him because he was a good-looking guy. And that's how he was able to do what he, well, one of the reasons why he was able to do what he did for so long. He was charming, he was handsome. So yeah, you are not alone in that. The lesson is though, don't trust good looking people. <laughs> handsome people, can't trust them. Apart from me, of course. <laughs> also, don't trust people that say to trust them. That's another one as well. Anybody says trust me, don't trust them. Yeah, him, so if, uh, you've just been judged. No, she's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I can't live with that. <laughs> have to wait and see what happens. Indeed, we've got... Uh, we're about halfway through now, I think, actually. About halfway through. I'm sat in the press. Sorry, man. We can get you through that, man. We can get through that. Let put monkey. Three cheers for hip, Epic Monkey. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Oh, she's not feeling too well, huh? 
no call. Oh, you're missing call areas. There's call. I trust she's <laughs> <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, just in case. Just in case. It's not too bad right now, but just in case. I think they're playing like strip something or other strip poker or something. Or strip card, whatever card game they're playing. Might not be poker, to be fair. For all I know, they could be playing snap. Strip snap. We can't expect Randy to go through with it if we're not willing Carl, to. Carl, please come back. Well, Carl's back right now. He might be here for a, a right. minute or two. But I hope it's worth it. Might be here for a minute or two. Carl! Jerk. When Carl's here, that means... Well... <laughs> well... 18 plus... What are we trying to do, Randy? Mm. Guess who wait? <laughs> yeah. The way things feel right now, and the way things actually are, are often very, very different. And I think that's important to remember when you go for any kind of depressive state, you know, just to, to how you feel and how things actually are, aren't always the same, you know? And I know it's a difficult thing to kind of get around, especially because our brain tries to make it real at times. And it can feel real in our heads at times, but yeah, it's important to try to remember that, that just because you feel a certain way about a certain thing doesn't mean that is what is going on. So uh, nobody just rang the bell. Oh, Hi, I thought I'd just drop by. Well, I was going to go to this party later on. Well, the thing of it is that I, I needed a little company tonight. Things have gone bananas at work. Well, sure. Okay, just a second. You guys got a split. I'll go out the side. It's my neighbor. Who, that airplane chick? Yeah. The karma's so thick around her, you can cut it with a better knife. Uh, let's let put their clothes back on now. We won't be okay. She just kicks out all her, uh, her naked friends so that um, the airplane chick can come over and hang out in her house. That's a good friend right there. She's like, hey, get out of my house. My other friend needs help. This is Randy Pendergrass. Randy? The paper boy? Actually, he gave up that route three years ago. Time marches on? I'm hip. I'm hip. Uh, do you think your parents would mind if I swiped a drink? I'm suddenly feeling very old. <laughs> forget your other shoe. Well, what about my coat? Oh, forget your coat. I think we might be okay in a moment or two. Yeah, I think we're okay now. I think we're okay now. Lama time is over. But it might come back. If you ask me, you're better off without Carla Davis. Who ever heard of her anyway? She's in some old movies they show on Channel 13 every once in a while. Nobody ever watches them. They're so stupid. Is it that bad of a scene? Um, I mean, uh, I, I don't know. Like what? It's, I mean, it's nothing, I guess, super explicit or nothing, but it's just... More, more to do with like YouTube yeah, rules of not showing boobies. You may have something like senioritis. I had it all last year at school. Yeah, maybe. I don't mean senioritis exactly, but something like it. I know I felt like I didn't fit in all last year at school. Not with cheerleading, with anything. I got in all kinds of fights with my teachers, my parents. I did school about four days a week. It's kind of did weird though, like the rules around, say, a shirtless man is wildly different to the rules around a shirtless woman, you know. And I, I get why. I mean, there's a cultural thing behind it. I understand that that whole thing. It's not. I'm not naive to the fact that how people perceive things over the years is 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 just has been, and that's the reason behind it. 
But even still, I think it's worth noting that, yeah, the rules around a shirtless man are wildly different to the rules around a shirtless woman. Speaking of a uh, drink, I'm going to grab myself a uh, JD and Coke. See you on the other side, Carl. I have some orange juice. We got okay. That's there's some differences right there. We got a JD and Coke, and then we got an orange juice. Okay, we got a range of people in the village. That's good to know. That's good to know. All kinds of people are welcome in this village. JD and Coke and orange juice. Oh wait, that was that's a bit premature. We don't judge here. This animation movie does have boob physics. I think a lot of them do actually. A lot of games do that now as well. Well, maybe not a lot, but certainly have quite a few. I mean, not that I'm looking, you know, just saying, just, just happened to, you know, catch out of the corner of my eye, you know, just saying. I think we're in about the last half hour, or almost about the last 40 minutes now. That's a neighbor, though. Did Charles Bronson come for the neighbor? He did as well. Damn. So the psychic was really was talking about the reason. I think the reason why the psychic was sort of apprehensive around her because she's seeing people around her dying. Not that when she said, "I saw you not dying." It's like everyone else around her. I have milk too, but I'm not being drunk on that right now. Oh, they got Christy. They got Christy, no! Christy was trying to be a good friend. Charles Bronson got her. Oh, no, wait, it wasn't Charles Bronson. No, somebody else got her. Was it? No, it was, it, was, it was the old guy. My bad, not Charles Bronson. Charles Bronson's in a movie called Once Upon a Time in America. Sorry, Once Upon a Time in the West. Really good movie. If you like westerns, or if you just like good movies, I just want to check out Once Upon a Time in the West. There's also another western called um, The Magnificent Seven. That's a really good one as well. And the man is sus. They're all sus. This whole this this woman's sus. School's back. How's school going? School's back open here as well. In fact, ooh. You know what, let's run it real quick. Did you hear that? Listen to the, listen to the, uh, uh, the audio in the back of this. 
Oh, well, a little bit further. A little bit further. Listen to, listen to this. Yeah, you hear that? Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> you hear that? Oof. That's, um... Was it J Jason? Cha-cha-cha-cha. Yeah, um... I can't remember. You know, you know that sound that J when, when Jason's around? Cha -cha -cha -cha. That, that kind of... That, that's, that's what it reminds me of. I think this is after Jason. Though. I think this is after uh, Friday the 13th. This is AC4. When was Friday the 13th? It was AC1, wasn't it? I think Friday the 13th might have come before this, though. Yeah, Friday the 13th was 1980. So yeah, this would have been a few years after. And the doorknob is uh, say, suspect everything. I don't drink to get drunk. It's been a crazy day. It's a drink to relax, uh, to ease the body. <sighs> she do be looking kind of sus. I think she's just suspecting everything right now. Relax the body, relax the mind. I hope it wasn't a uh, too crazy a day. Ooh. Do we go need Carl for this? Ooh. I don't think we need Carl just yet, but almost. The music is bare area, isn't it? Oh. Oh. Oh, points the gun at a policeman. She opened the door, points the gun at a policeman. Wow. Like I told you, we searched Ms. Watson. Well, I'm just saying. Well, what about the girl? She's still missing. She left a note saying. There's a few scenarios where that wouldn't have gone so well. <laughs> the girl apparently has a history of this sort of thing. Neighbors say she is in the habit of staying away from home. It's a rubber from home alone. I don't even know, you know what is it? Forget about the girl. Don't even know it's. Says you know. It's a knife she had. Okay, a knife. Well, still a weapon. It was a weapon. Skeng. She had a skeng. Skang. Skang man. Skang. Skang man mode. Skang. Skang man. Skang. Skang man mode. It wasn't a gun, it was a knife. She had a skang. She had a shank. Them two are dating. Guys, dear. Well, you know well Look, I can't handle all these meltdowns. Ah. Ah. Yeah, I know what it is. Well, I'm glad. Well, I'm glad you're, <laughs> you're able to handle it. Let's say, let's let's get some. Let's get some F's for respect for Sam. We can get some F's in the chat. F for respect. For Sam. Time of the attack, she was loaded. We got to Sam. You see where we're coming from on this. Press F for respects. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's a doctor. Doctor Love. You know, I just had an idea about this survivor syndrome. She's crazy because she's not an anti Okay. That could be part of it, you know. Sometimes um, uh, certain they drugs don't. might work on some people, don't always work on others. Don't so. play those games with me. I'm not serious. I'm saying it's an interesting thought. One at least worthy of your friend, Miss Davis. Well, I'll tell you this much. Either the cops are wrong about that guy being dead or there's some real spooky shit going on. Well, let's consider... Some getting real spooky. Told me you were doing an old prescription. I did. You never told me it was amitriptyline. 
you know how dangerous so is he a, her doctor or a boyfriend and the doctor that wrote it must have told you that taking it and drinking can kill you real fast was it called anti tryptam she was taken along with alcohol oh she's not mm. look I wasn't thinking I only took two and one drink will you get this through your head I do not want to die I haven't caused any of this thanks but it's uh annoying oh, for me, me it's gotten more since school's open Tough times, man. Tough times. Sure, this highway inspector is the guy. I'm positive. He's the same guy that I almost ran over yesterday. The cops have been wrong before. Look, I know a couple of guys. Oh yeah, I mean, I know he's both the boyfriend and the, and the dog. So I'm just saying, like, stop off there this at any one time, check it out, all right? he needs to pick one. They're in a home right now. Be the boyfriend. Give her doctor advice in a hospital, and then you can charge her for it. There's a little bit of gore in the beginning with like the bodies and stuff, but it hasn't been too much. Um, right, this movie. I'm not sure we're going to see too much gore anymore right now. Have told him that five years from now nobody would give a rat's ass whether or not he even went to high school. Yeah. How do you look? I really came by to find out about that guy they just brought in. Oh, the um, dude from Streets and Public Works. Oh, well, atmospheric the, uh, film and glory, say. yeah. All civil service bullshit. Hey, look, do yourself a favor and stay at Memorial. The worst mistake of my life is coming over here to county and getting mixed up with civil service. About this guy. Oh, the highway inspector. Can you imagine this guy has a massive coronary, drives off the highway and bites the big weenie. Cars going back and forth and nobody sees him. Okay, now that's what I was wondering about. Did you let me see a workup on him? What for? Well, I think maybe the cops made a few mistakes. <laughs> He's watching the clues in the film because they all point towards an explanation at the end. Okay. So maybe this film's a lot cleverer than we might realize. Thinking about yesterday. Oh, it's Carla, the psychic. My agent says um, it wasn't such a hot thing for me to walk out. As a matter of fact, he dropped me. I'm sorry. Listen, uh, about what I said. I get a little carried away sometimes. Everybody she apologizing? But I feel I could do the job. I'm really sorry about this. She apologizing? There's nothing I can do about it. I tried to warn you. Well, I just thought. I'm really sorry. Mm. That's all right. Did just the accent gig. Did someone break into your house last night? Yeah, that's why I didn't go into work today. Oof, this lady though. Carla. Carla. You know something about this. What? Well, look, this guy may have been involved in breaking into a house, okay? Now, maybe the cops chased him and he ran back to his car, then had a heart attack. Maybe. When was all this supposed to have happened? Last night. What? A chance. The guy was in the car for at least 48 hours. I was here when they brought him in. He was pretty ripe, if you know what I mean. Clothes all wet, covered with mud. Wait a minute. If he was dead in his car for two days, why would he be wet? It only started to rain last night. I mean, if he was in there all the time. Who knows? Maybe the cops dropped him or something and didn't report it. They botched the report anyway. How? Oh. 
They said they found the guy lying face down in the front seat of the car. So? So if the guy died lying face down, all the blood in his body would have settled along here. Didn't it? No. Every drop of blood in that guy's body drained into his leg. No way did he lie around for any two days on his face. He died standing up. Artie, don't be stupid. How could the guy die standing up? He was in a car. <sighs> That's what the cops said. All I know is the blood was in his legs. How it got there is not my department. Look, we had the same fight over some old geezer they found in the park. The report says... So this guy's getting all these mystery deaths and he's, he's just like blowing it off. <laughs> he, oh, bloody hell. Fire this guy. All the blood was in his legs. I point that fact out to this asshole captain in Metro. How the blood good in his legs, he says. Not in my department, I says. For all I know, he was up and walking around after he died. Ernie, thanks. This captain's Please. got no sense of humor. Oh, must be fall into uh, the horror indeed. This coroner guy's finding all these um things. He just like, oh, it's not my department. Blah, 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 blah. I was like, you, you don't think maybe you should like raise that a bit more, especially when it's happening multiple times. I think what she means by getting getting the parts. Oof. Took a cab home to get my car and some clothes. Back in time for dinner. Maybe I do need a shrink. It looks like. When did you get the message? About twenty minutes ago. Do you still want me to let the phone ring? No. Uh. Radio though. Panasonic. I love it. Man, them old school car radios. Don't see those no more. Well, you wouldn't. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, what do you do to turn your man on? Anything in particular? It's not really a horror though, it's uh, a fair at best. Me, yeah, I think that's a fair description. This was described as a horror. Unless unless something happens in the next... 20 minutes? Well, 15 minutes, really. In the next 15 minutes. So far, it's more... Psychological thriller. Or at least attempted psychological thriller. <laughs> Oh, this guy's creepy. See you in church. You hear that? See you in church. You know, the guy just like made a highly inappropriate pass to her. And he's like, see you in church. Yeah, you wouldn't get that these days. You get reported to Uber. <laughs> get kicked off the platform. Fake taxi. Faxi. It's a horror, but with more thriller elements in it. Wow. We've got about 15 minutes left of this movie. Let's see. Christy? Whatever you describe it, horror, thriller, it's alright though still, you know, it's alright. You know, think from what it's trying to do. He rubs baby oil all over my body and I rub baby oil all over his. You no, know, it's definitely got that kind of suspense feel to it. I've heard about things like that, but I've never done them. Suddenly I become very worried. Hello, Hello sweetheart. Never used to bother me. You 
in a big yellow cab. I put up a park in that. Uh, She looks like that girl that was in EastEnders. What's her name? Michelle something? I don't know how many people here watch EastEnders. I don't watch EastEnders. I just remember a little bit from it. But she looks like Michelle from EastEnders. Maybe I watch too many twisted say? horror films to call this a horror. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? Oh, I don't think that taxi driver survived. She's Christina, the friend that drowned. Oh, okay. She looked different though. Oh, okay. Well, she did drown, so there's that. Oh, I think I know what's going on. So the people that died are the ones that are coming back. And they're killing people around her. I think I see what's going on now. The people that died are the ones that are coming back and they're killing people around her. Well, that doctor better be careful, isn't it? Approaching to put your fingerprints low for that car, though, might not be such a good idea. Put some gloves on the sun. Hence the title of the movie, Soul Survivor. I feel like they should have put, spelled it Soul Survivors in S O U L rather than S O L E. They should have, that's how I feel they should have done it, Soul Survivor. But hey, I'll explain afterwards. All right, cool, cool, cool. I'm sure I missed things uh, watching this movie, so yeah, that explanation would come in handy. But I think I'm getting it. Well, I think I'm getting something. Yeah, maybe don't touch dead bodies, though. I mean, I know you're a doctor and all, but maybe, like, don't mess up a crime scene. Putting your DNA all over the car and everything, like... Ugh. Steal it, bro. dude. Are you serious, bro? When the police come, tell him that. Yeah, we think you did it now. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just in case. It's it's not too bad right now. Not right now, but I don't know. Just in case. We can slow my time for a moment. I think we might be okay, but. Okay. Yeah, that's better now. That's better now. Doctor got deaded. No! Oh, for good, uh, I recommend Martyrs, a French film. If you can handle it, it's amazing. Martyrs, okay. You write that one down. A 2008 film, horror drama. Oh. 
Uh, we just got one recommendation for a horror movie. Guys, what's your favorite horror movies? Or movie, ho favorite horror movie? the sole survivor of this so oh I might need that armor again you know let's just grab that shirt roll tight mm. one of the best horror movies I've seen is a film called um, The Ring which I know you, you probably heard of it <laughs> it's not like an obscure movie or anything like that but yeah, that I mean, there was the there's a bunch of different versions of it, like the original, um, was it Korean version, or was it Japanese? I don't remember. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm probably just sounding really ignorant right now, but I can't remember if it was Korean or Japanese. I think it was Japanese. Um, but yeah, it was remade into an American movie. I know I've seen them all, but it's a long time ago. Um, I just remember I don't remember a lot from it. I just remember them being just really just like. Yeah, Dude. Let me see here. It was Japanese, Japanese. And I've seen some Korean horror movies, that's why it's kind of confusing it as well, because I know I've definitely seen some Korean horror movies as well. But there was a while ago, there was a time where I was watching like a bunch of like horror movies from Korea, Japan. It was uh, going back a while. Went for a phase of just watching all these horror movies from Korea and Japan. Um, but yeah, Ring or Ringu rather as a, as a Japanese name, and then the American uh, version of the Ring. They're both good. They're both uh, good movies. Just creepy and oof. Pointing guns at random strangers now. Don't shoot. Oh, don't say that. Don't, 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 uh, don't, don't. Uh, I think. Don't. There is two, uh, the French one and the American one. The American one is a remake and it's garbage. Okay. <laughs> the American one is a remake. Okay. We'll avoid the American one then. Avoid that. At least for now. And the text driver came back to life. Back to life. The Walking Dead. The audition was a good one. Oh, I've heard of the audition. I haven't seen it, but I know I know of that film. I know of it. I haven't seen it though. But yeah, yeah. I think it's quite a popular one in uh, a popular Japanese one as well. I remember it popping up all over the place, but I just never actually saw it. So is Carla going to be the one that ends it all? God, Carla, except for you, there's nobody else who knows about this but me. They'll never believe me. No, they won't have to. Four years ago, I was in love. But if you tell them what you know, that's the important thing. <clears throat> People know. How can it go on if people know?
Carl has had enough. Oh. 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 Carl, okay. Carl is back. For, ooh. Oh shit, 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 shit. Shit. Oh, flipping hell. What are you doing? Ugh. Well, if you want to be around long enough to get your pension, get Patterson on the line. Right now. That got a bit close, I'm not sure. Patterson? We might need some editing later. <laughs> um, but I think we're okay now. Well, it makes sense with what he was asking me about yesterday. Martyrs and you find it dis uh, disturbing. What I think zero responsibility. <laughs> I, I can't see you whilst it's then. All right, fair enough. And the cuddler girl, same deal. No, she may not be unrelated. Yeah, I know she drowned, but how did the blood get in her leg? Oh, how do oh. I know. I think we know how the blood got in her yeah, legs. I got the DR forms. Thanks. There's something going on here. So, she was the Maybe one. Time we'll see if we just can't get to the bottom of it. I think I know what's going on. Ken, if you're still there, before you explain, let me let let me say what I think's going on, and then you can let me know if I'm right or wrong afterwards. Might be a promotion in it once I get it figured out. Oof. <laughs> well, I guess um, he's not getting his promotion then, is he? <laughs> he's not going to get his promotion after all. Okay. Okay. So, uh, stop that there for a moment. And let's uh, talk about what we just watched. Oh, that is quite loud, isn't it? Oh, that is quite loud. So... Oh, that's, I think it's a bit better. So here's what I think happened. So she survived this plane crash. And in the beginning, she was talking about um, how she got this dress uh, from the shop and it never got charged because there's a computer error. But eventually she did get charged because the computer caught up. Right? It, it eventually, you know, fixed itself. And I feel like that's kind of the metaphor for the whole movie. Like she was supposed to die in that crash. But there was a mistake, if you will. Um, so she's walking around on borrowed time. So what's happening is that these people who died in a plane crash, or at least some of the, they, they're coming back for her, so they're dead, walking around. That's why the blood's going to their feet, because they're already dead. The blood's not being pumped around their body. It's just falling to their feet. And then they're walking around, and they're all trying to get to her, but they're just killing the people around her, because only one of them can actually do it. And the, one, the chosen one to do it was Carla. That's why she's doing about... I am the one, and, and you know, she killed herself. She cut her own wrist to kill herself. So she dies, and she becomes the one to kill, um, uh, what's her name? Not not Christy, I can't remember her name right now. Anita, what's her name? Here we go. Uh, Denise, there was Dee Um, So yeah, the blood gets their legs because they're already dead. They're walking around. When you're alive, your heart plants blood around your body, right? But if you're dead and your heart's not pumping, it's just gonna it's gravity it's just falling to your uh, to the to your feet so that's why the blood's in their feet so no matter how they died whether they drowned or whatever it was because they start getting up and walking around um you know yeah the blood's going to their feet and the guy who was in the car when i said had a piece find him sitting in the car he was again walking around the blood's going to his feet then he's in the car and that's where they found him so uh yeah that's 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 what i think is happening effectively she was supposed to die at that plane crash but because there was a mistake in the computer system um what by, by the time a computer catches up and fixes itself that's what those events were leading up to her getting killed finally but it had to be carla that does it i'm not sure why carla specifically um that's i guess that's what i missed um in, in during the movie i'm not sure why it had to be carla maybe it's because um i don't know carla was 
a friend, I don't know. Um, but yeah, yeah. I don't know what could it have been. Was it Kate, Kate, uh, Christie or anybody else? Yeah. I um, mean, you know, Final Destination I haven't seen for a long time. Um, I don't remember not liking it. I, I, mean, I thought it was okay, I guess. I, I really don't remember much from it. it was a, it's got to be more than 10 years ago that I saw Final Destination. I really don't remember. Because um, uh, Carlo was the psychic and had connections to the other side. Oh, yeah, I mean, that bit, I'm like, okay, what I mean is I, I'm not sure why it had to be Carla to kill um, Denise. I, I get that Carla had these connections because she's a psychic, but any number, any one of those people could have, like, the, you know, the, the the Charles Bronson guy, you know, looking like guy, he that he could have killed Denise. Um, Christie could have killed Denise. You know, any number of them could have killed Denise. So what I'm saying, I wasn't sure specifically why it had to be Carla, to kill uh, police, so maybe it didn't have to be. Maybe it didn't have to be Carla. Maybe that's just how it turned out, you know. But I just remember Carla saying something about her being the the one. Um, her being, her, she said, "I'm chosen." I realize now I'm chosen, um, and that's you know when she did what she did. But uh, so yeah, that bit is like, why does she feel chosen? But again, maybe Carla needs her own movie to explain that whole thing. <laughs> Soul Survivor 2, The Carla Tells. Uh, Final Station was okay. Uh, the sequel sucked. I never did see the sequel, so yeah. <laughs> Why were they coming for Arthur, uh, the mortician, in the end? Um, I don't know. Maybe it's because they can't let the story out. I, um, I, I, don't, I don't know that. Um, maybe <laughs> he was like, yo, I'm trying to make some bank off of this. And they were like, nah, we can't let that. We can't, we, we can't allow that firm. We can't allow that. This story goes no further. This man knows too much in it, or he's about to know too much. Let's let's just dead him while <laughs> dead him while 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 before it's too late. I don't know, but that's what I got from it. But yeah, let, let me let me let you if let me, let's uh, let's hear the explanation, Mister Greenhall, um, and see what that actual thing is, or at least you know, according to somebody who knows the film a little bit better than, than I do, well, probably much better. You like the film a little cheesy, but good for its time. Um, no, it's pretty cool though. I think whether you want to call it a horror or a, or a filler or whatever you want to call it, it was a decent flick, you know. Um, I, 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 I'd be reluctant to compare it to Final Destination only because I really don't remember much from Final Destination. I don't, I, I mean, I remember liking it, I guess. I don't remember, I certainly don't remember hating it. Um, I just don't remember a whole lot about it. I remember there was definitely some gruesome deaths in this and some interesting. Uh, very creative death scenes in Final Destination, um, but yeah, you can certainly see the um, the inspiration in, in that Final Destination had that same sort of thing about death catching up with you at some point. Uh, whereas with Final Destination, it was more like there was a series of people that were all getting killed. Well, I guess this is did the same sort of thing too, really. Since we were all getting killed, um, but yeah, it, it was yeah, maybe, maybe it's exactly the same actually. But yeah, maybe I need to see Final Destination again and um, refresh my memory on that. But um, yeah. Sweet Monday! Maybe want to watch uh, Silent Night, uh, Deadly Night 2, or Sleepaway Camp. Big up, Sweet Monday! Okay, the bit where the girl gets uh, splattered by the bus thingy was cool. Mm. Wait, did I miss that then? I don't remember a girl getting splattered by a bus. Damn, I missed stuff. Oh, I knew I missed stuff. I didn't realize I missed that, though. And I think you are pretty much right. Uh, Death was coming for her and using uh, dead people as instruments to get to her. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we don't miss too much, then. <laughs> we don't miss too much. I'm doing that right, man. We just had a uh, movie night. First movie night in a long-ass time, actually. I haven't done a movie night for a long time. We watched this movie called Soul Survivors, a 1984 movie. Um, and... I was able to actually watch the movie on stream because it's public domain. At least, I'm pretty sure it's public domain. I, I, I did look, and the best I could find is it's a public domain movie. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll, <laughs> I guess I'll know in the morning when uh, when your yeah, YouTube scans the thing and lets me know about copyright stuff. <laughs> but it seemed okay. Well, I did run some tests and stuff, and it seems like it's okay to show this on stream without too much. Uh, those kind of issues, so I think we're alright with this. Um, the Entity 1982 with 
Barbara. Uh, her she is pretty cool. Okay. Oh, in Final Destination. Okay, cool. I see what you mean. It does a bust letter to your Final Destination. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, we should do this more often. Definitely, man. Definitely. At least once a week. I don't know about that. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yeah, definitely we want to do more. Should do more of these. Um, oh, you said as Entity was fine. Okay. Definitely should be more of these. Definitely should be more of these. I need to like. I want to live stream more. That's kind of the main goal. So yeah, I don't know about once a week. I mean that waits to be seen. Um, maybe eventually, you know, we could do once a week. But I don't know if we could do once a week in the near future because you know, I still got to do that whole paying bills thing. <laughs> right. So uh, we'll see how it goes for now. But um, yeah, definitely do want to do more live streams with more video games, more. Uh, movie nights. Um, I haven't done a reaction live stream for a while, so yeah, more of those as well. Um, I just just more live streams in general. I've got to go live more. Got to go live more. I think it's a, a a fun and cool way to interact with the village. So um, yeah, more live streams. And see, it wasn't funny. It was creepy and sad. <laughs> well, I guess what one person finds funny, another person finds creepy and sad. That's the way the world goes. We experience things differently. The Entity. I don't know, if you call this film Entity, I'm just thinking it's about the titties at the end. Like, if you have, like, boobs at the end, that's the end titty. <laughs> right? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's, that's what I'm thinking. It can't be the beginning titty, <laughs> right? It's the end titty. So there's a titty at the end. And just one titty, by the way, not like titties, it's, it's singular. So it's one titty <laughs> at the end. So it's the end titty. Now, I don't know what this, this this one titty at the end does. Like maybe it like squirts like poison milk at you or something, <laughs> you know, and you like <laughs> just disintegrate. I don't know, I ain't seen a movie. But I'm guessing this movie is about a titty at the end. And it's probably like a big titty. Like a big giant titty that squirts poison milk at people. And it's probably like a really nice, like smooth, you know, really nice looking titty. So you see it and you're like, you're enticed by it. When you see it, you're like, oh, wow, right? Because you're enticed by the beauty of the titty, right? But you get too close and it squirts poison milk at you. You know, I think I just like wrote a good movie. <laughs> I, just, I just wrote a really good movie. I don't know. Uh, British people said boobs. Uh, that's more American. Oh, I don't. Well, I don't. I, I don't know if it's a, if that's an American thing or a British thing. But I do know that we say boobs. <laughs> we definitely do say boobs. Whether 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 the Americans said it first or the British said it first, I don't know. But we definitely do say boobs quite a lot actually. Yeah, and compared to to you, then I'm a heartless sick. <laughs> I'm sure that's not true, Sam. Hopefully the milk tastes bad. <laughs> well, if it's poison milk, maybe, actually if it's poison milk, it probably doesn't taste bad because you won't drink it if it tastes horrible, you just spit it out right away. But if it tastes nice, you'd be more inclined to swallow it. But it's poison, so it kills you. So, um, I don't know, something to think about, man. It was about a woman who is attacked sexually by a ghost. Uh, apparently the entity was based on a true story. And Barbara Hershey is a really good actress. A woman who's sexually attacked by a ghost. Damn. Ghosts be doing that Bill Cosby thing, man. That's not cool. I've got a film up here, actually. The Entity. Uh, There's a 1982 American supernatural horror film directed by Sidney J. Fury and written by Frank DeFelita, who adapted his 1978 novel of the same name. Oscar nominated actress in fact it's kind of crazy to think that there's a lot of um, Oscar winning uh, actors or Oscar nominated actors that have done like the cheesiest films that you would never think to see them in I don't know if the entity is one of those movies it kind of sounds like it to be honest but I'm just saying I'm just saying 
there's quite a few Oscar nominated or Oscar winning actors that have done some cheesy movies that you would never think to see them in. But yeah, they will see the entity at another time. The entity. I want to write a movie. I've got a movie idea now. I think I've just got a really good movie idea. So I'm going to write it down before it gets uh, taken. No comment from me. I'll get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the best comment is no comment. Sometimes. Just sometimes. you got to gauge it really, isn't it? That's all how we gauge things. I'm sure I've said things, plenty of things that could get me in trouble because sometimes I don't know when to shut up. I'm just saying, it's true. Sometimes I don't know when to shut up and I'm like, um, you have those moments where you say something and literally right when you say it, it's just like, yeah, I really shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I really shouldn't have said that. I really should have just kept my mouth. I should have just zipped my mouth. I should have just, mm, 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 should <laughs> Moscow says he called the entity one of his favorite horror films. Okay. So it's got some good back in then. Let's see here. Let's play a trailer for this actually. I've got a trailer right here. So we switch back to this screen. I'm going to watch the trailer for the entity. Switch back. This is a. Uh, Movie database. Is there a volume in this? Oh, here we go. Tell me, is, is this the first time something like this has ever happened? I don't know. There was no one there. Well, that's quite loud, actually. So, in other words, it wasn't a real man. Do you hear that? And he felt like a man? A big man. Okay, so the trailer is not so but great for 80s and cheesy as well. Did you hear it? You what? I don't mind no cheese. And what do you think happened? This is a new fan made trailer. Okay. A fan made trailer made it to the movie database though. Ooh, this is actually really loud. Oh. gets under your skin. To be honest, um, the writing actually looks quite modern. The text does look quite modern. So yeah, I could believe this is a newly made trailer. Wait, the whole thing about the ghost thing, didn't they do that in Scary Movie? Alright, so that was the entity, well the trailer for the entity. Yeah, they did do it there, yeah. Scary Movie 2, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess now we know where they got the idea from. But that was fun, though. Now, we definitely got to do more of these movie nights, I think. Find some more movies. Hopefully, well, ideally... Um, ideally, public domain movies, because, you know... Regular movies, you, you can't really show them. You just get blocked all the time, and it's a bit lame. And I mean, I, I, I know mean, you could do it where it's like if everybody has a copy of the movie, you could just kind of watch it along at the same time. You could, that's one way of doing it. I know, and I've tried that before. Which is no, it's, it's doable. I don't say it's not doable. I'm just saying, it, it, I feel like it's just a bit more fun when you can show the film on screen because everybody can see it. So yeah, public domain movies. I think if I can stick to those, not maybe not exclusively, but I think. I'm probably going to try and do more private domain movies and definitely check next time to make sure there's no naughty bits in there first though, because uh, lesson learned, lesson learned. Um, but yeah, recommendations, if you know any, send it through, uh, see what we can do, you know what I mean? And um, we'll go from there. But yeah, more live streams, more videos, more everything, just more, 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 more. Um, big up Belgian Dan, um, sounds like a good idea, yes sir. Like movie, I like movie night. Yes, sir. Uh, 
marry my yeah, my audience people. Hey, my audience people don't get my humor. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Sam. I'm sorry, Sam. I know what that feels like when I t when you tell jokes and people don't get it. It happens all the time, and I and and I do comedy. <laughs> I do comedy. I do com. I do stand up comedy. I go up on stage. I tell jokes, and sometimes people don't laugh. I'm like, okay, well, that didn't work then. <laughs> well, made fan trailer indeed. Do you want me to look for public domain films to watch on movie night? Um, are you on the Discord, uh, Ken? If you are, then yeah, drop a few in the Discord. And I can check them out. If you're not in the Discord, then yeah, join the Discord. <laughs> you can drop a few there. And I can check them out. There's a Discord link in the um, in the uh, description. That's what I'm, po I'm pointing to the description, by the way. Not, you know. All right, all right, behave, behave. <laughs> but yeah, join the Discord. If you're not on my Discord already, join the Discord. I do have a Discord. You know, I try to keep regular on the Discord as well. So yeah, join the Discord. And we could discourse things there too. <laughs> uh, don't watch Martyrs on here. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> don't. Okay, so um, that 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 tells me a few things about Martyrs. Then mm. <laughs> I think that thing that one sentence just told me a few things about Martyrs. So we won't be watching that on here. Um, but yeah, I'll try and get to that at some point. Uh, you have clips of your stand-up comedy? I do. They're on my um, comedy channel. So I have a comedy channel. Um, Hayes Hilarious. In fact, there's a link for that in the description as well. So yeah, check that out too. Hayes Hilarious. Is there a link in the description, actually? I, I'm sure I put a link in the description. I did put a, a link in the description, didn't I? Well, if I didn't, then whoops. No, there is, there is. There's a link in the description. So you might have to, you scroll if you scroll down a little bit, it's there under YouTube channels. Then you see Hayes Hayes channels, Hayes hilarious, Hayes vlog, and yeah, I've got all, all my YouTube channels are, are listed there. So if you click it, look in the description under YouTube channels section, just scroll down a little bit, scroll down just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit, and you should see it there. Um, but yeah, I've got my I post um, comedy sketches mostly. I mostly do sketch comedy. Like short sketches, you know, a few, like mo a lot of the later ones have been like 20, 30 seconds. Um, but I say mostly they're like minute, two minutes, three minutes, that sort of thing. Um, but there's some longer ones in there as well. And yeah, there's a, a whole section, a whole, a whole playlist of my stand up comedy um, on that channel as well. In fact, you know what? One sec. One sec. I'm, sure. I'm saying things. I'll have to be like, you know what? Is that even there though? Am I just making that up? Sometimes I say things. I'm like, uh, is that actually there? Am I just making it up? Did I just totally make that up? Is that actually there? Okay, so yeah, if you go to the Hayes Hilarious uh, page, yeah, you'll see a bunch of playlists there. Um, and yeah hey stands up hey stands up so yeah my stand up comedy is all listed there i haven't done stand up for a while though because you know pandemic right um so i haven't really been out doing stand up for for a good while but but back back when we were allowed to you know leave the house and meet people yeah i did some stand up shows so uh god will i be doing more of those stand up shows um once everything could be back to where we can start doing these sorts of things again but for now yeah please check them out man check out my other channels you know I, I i post either here there everywhere I, I, I yeah posting something somewhere okay or, or just uh leave suggestions in the comments <laughs> don't want to join a discord okay fine then um that's cool yeah if you drop a suggestion in the comment um and yeah we'll see where we go from there uh what's the worst time you ever bombed in your stand-up it's more disturbing and gory though. Uh, there is uh, bits in it that make you cringe. Oh, I see, I see. Like, oh. Um, worst time I ever bombed in one of my stand-ups was a time. I think I'm sure I still got a video for it actually. I don't. I don't. I haven't put it up yet, but maybe I will one day. I'm gonna have to put it up one day. But um, I did put a. I did do a show where I tried telling this joke, 
and it did not go well at all. Um, th there was a lady in the audience who was quite drunk and she was heckling everybody anyway. So it wasn't like exclusive to me. But she was heckling, uh, but I did feel like I might have gotten it the worst. Because I was trying to tell a joke and immediately she just cut me off and just started sh uh, talking about, you know, everything. And it, it just really threw me off the set because I tried to I tried to engage with her a little bit, and that didn't work. So I was like, okay, let me just ignore and carry on. And I think I did reasonably okay in terms of trying to get past it. But I mean, all things considered, I think I did reasonably okay. But nah, I I, I bonded pretty badly because I ended up forgetting what I was trying to say, and I was just um in and are in and. Yeah, it, 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 was, it was a learning experience though. It was a learning experience because I think one of the things I, I kind of took from that was I know what I'm trying to say, right? And I know what I mean by what I say. But if people don't know me, like if you go to a stand-up so you do an open mic, people don't know me. They don't know who I am. They don't know what I'm about. They don't know anything. All they have is their own preconceived notions. Now, I can't do much about what people preconceive of me. There's very little I can do about that, right? But what I can do is be mindful of the fact that people could assume certain things and, you know, try to head that off as much as I can. That's what I can do. At least that's what I took from that anyway. What was the joke? Uh, you have to tell us. <laughs> um, you got a heckler. Uh, every comedian gets that. Uh, you should have shut the heckler down. I should have, but yeah. That's, that's a skill I need to learn. Um, so the joke itself was... So I guess it is... <laughs> so the joke itself is, is a bit cheeky, but in my mind it wasn't rude, right? So the joke was about how when... Uh, what was the joke? It was... Um, I was going to... So like, transgender operations, right? <laughs> Hashtag Hayes cancelled. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the joke was that how um, that this it's a really expensive operation, all right? And even though you spend all that money on it, it could still go wrong, all right? And that that was that was the the thing saying that it could go wrong. You could spend all this money and end up looking like you know Crichton from Red Dwarf, all right? Now, in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, I'm not being rude. I'm not being, you know, discriminatory or anything like that. And I don't think it is. I don't, I don't, I don't think it is. At least, uh, at least I hope it's not. I'm not, it's certainly not my intention to anyway. But what happened uh, on the night is that I literally just said transgender. And the lady went off at me. As soon as I said that word, before I even said the rest of the joke, she went off at me just went off just like talking about you know they go through so much they do and you know and you you don't know they're struggling you don't know da, 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 da. as i was kind of like caught off i was literally just caught off guard by you know like um i was you know <laughs> and yeah it's just it's just it's just like escalate well escalated but it's it just got to the point where it's like i'm trying to remember the joke and I'm trying to like be like all cool and you know like say shut it down but I'm I, I'm too new at comedy to, to get that to be that good at it you know I've seen people handle hecklers really well I'm not one of those guys not yeah anyway not not just yet but um yeah I'm trying to like um you know respond and like be witty but that's failing then after that I'm trying to just ignore and carry on with my set but then I'm like forgetting myself forgetting what I'm trying to say and I'm just um uh um like that throughout the rest of it and in the end, I had to look at my notes. And then even then, even after I looked at my notes, I was still just so kind of frazzled by the whole thing. I was just like, uh, uh, and uh, it, yeah, it just didn't go well. It, it didn't go so well. <laughs> it didn't go so well at all. Um, I would say though, however, the next week I came back and I felt like I did a lot better because I kind of took what I learned in terms of how people perceive you. And of course, they don't know that I'm not trying to be rude. Or I'm not trying to be, um, ex you know, excluding anybody. I'm not trying to deny anybody that I'm. I'm not, I I feel like I'm not trying to do that. And anything I say, if it is 
genuinely offensive to somebody, then you know, I'd, I'd want to know. I'd want to know what I've said and where I could, you know, possibly learn. Because it could be that I don't know something, right? Could very well be that there's things that I don't understand that I should learn. I get that, but you know, just generally, I know. I feel like I know that I'm not trying to be that guy, but they don't know me, right? That person doesn't know me. She just hears the word, and that's a trigger word for her, apparently. <laughs> right? Apparently, it's a trigger word for her. So immediately, she's just going off at me. So the following week, I, I felt like I did a bit better in terms of trying to head that sort of thing off and then address what I was trying to say the previous week. And I think I did okay. I think I did okay. Hopefully, I did okay. Well, who knows? Uh, you should tell us uh, more about England. I think the countryside is creepy because they uh, have all those church church ruins and broken down castles, so airy and desolate. Um, I haven't been to those in the countryside, but yeah, there's definitely some some creepy areas around town. That's for sure. <laughs> that's the proper term, though. I believe it is, unless I'm mistaken or something's changed. I don't know, but I, I believe <laughs> that is the proper term. What up, Frozen Gamer? Sounds like she just needed to stop drinking. What's what? Yeah, oh yeah, she was drinking quite a bit. In fact, at one point, I think they did eventually kick her out actually, because she was disturbing everybody's set. Um, so I, I didn't take it too personally because I, I knew she was drunk and disturbing everybody anyway. But at the same time, I, I did kind of feel like I got it the worst. But maybe that's because I'm me. I, I I only know how I feel. I don't know how everybody else felt, right? So it felt to me like I might have got it the worst. But even still. Her being drunk and her disturbing everybody, I did feel like I need to try and learn something from this because these kind of things can happen, right? Whether she's drunk or not, these kind of things can and do happen. So I, I was like, for myself, I need to learn something from this. And, you know, I think I did. I think I did. <laughs> Hopefully I did. What up, Frozen G? Did you upload your stand up? Yeah, they're on my uh, comedy channel. They're on my comedy channel. Let me drop a link, actually. Let me drop a link to my comedy channel. Let me drop a link right quick. In fact, let me just do this. Let me just do this. It's easier. YouTube dot com slash bandit haze so if you click on that that would take you to my haze hilarious comedy channel and you can see my playlist that i have listed there um and if you scroll down a little bit near the bottom not quite right at the bottom but near the bottom maybe about midway actually you'll see where the stand-ups are or the stand-up uh, videos are i've been camped for a while lovely countryside are oh. did you know that Pluckley, Pluckley is the most haunted place in England. I've never even heard of Pluckley, actually. So, no, I did not know that. Did not know that at all. I did not know that at all. The Brits are losing their sense of humour. You know, I think there's truth to that. You know, I think, I think there's truth to that just the world in general. I mean, on one hand, it's like... Because when it comes to what you'd call, say, offensive humour, right... On one hand, I totally understand that as a comedian, you want people to laugh at your jokes, right? And if your jokes are considered offensive, then people generally won't laugh because they'll be offended by them. Like if you're out here just insulting people, you know, being racist, being sexist, being homophobic, you know, or just flat out being insulting towards various groups of people or just people, uh, individuals, yeah, that's not funny, right? That's that's it's not funny. It's it's not cool. It's it's not okay, you know. And I, I I do believe that there are comedians out there that use that hide behind comedy as a way of trying to just pull out some horrible opinions on the world, you know. That being said, <laughs> that being said, I think there is definitely a movement, if you will, of people who don't really listen to what's being said and are very quick to react over maybe certain words and assume that just because 
you know, you said a particular word or you said something that means you're the bad guy and they haven't actually listened or give you the chance to ex say what you're about to say. They're just assuming you're the bad guy. You're the one that needs to be taken down. You're everything that's wrong with the world. And you haven't even, like, like I said, when they just shouting up, shop at me, haven't even said your joke yet. Um, so yeah, I think there is definitely uh, that kind of vibe or well, maybe vibe isn't the right word to use, but that kind of um, culture um, of, of part of society where people just don't really listen to what's actually being said and just assume by maybe it's the way you look they assume that you're going to say something uh, rude or maybe it's because you know you talked about a particular issue or you talked about something that isn't necessarily a, a culture that you're a part of that means you're being rude and they haven't actually given you the opportunity to say the thing that you're about to say it's just immediate um, and yeah, that that's something that unfortunately is part of the comedy circuit, you know. And it's it's been like that. Well, it hasn't been like, but yeah, it's been around for a while. So yeah, it's 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 something we got to deal with as as stand up comedians. We you gotta learn to deal with that sort of thing to get around people like that. Because especially when you're doing the open mics, and yeah, people don't know who you are. You don't get the luxury of you know a thirty forty minute set where you could, you know, really get into what you're doing and explain things. You've got five minutes, right, to kind of get your jokes out. So when people interrupt you and throw you off your set, <laughs> you feel it because that's that's your time running out. You know, that's your time running out. You've got five minutes to do your set. Somebody's interrupting you, shouting you down. And not only are you, is it taking up your time, now you're forgetting what you're trying to say. Yeah, that, that hurts. That, that hurts. So, um... You gotta let, but yeah, you gotta because you know because I'm now I'm very aware of that being a possibility. Like I say, it's got something I've got to learn to deal with. Ah, that's plucky. Uh, no Hackney, Hackney. I know Hackney. I definitely know Hackney. I'm not too far from Hackney, actually. Well, the, in miles, I'm not too far. I'm not exactly local to Hackney. Um, but Hackney's a cool area. Though. I like Hackney. I like Hackney. So hang there a lot, quite a lot, actually. Hackney, Shoreditch, that kind of whole. Area ish, he's hanging there quite a bit back in the day. Uh, Guinness World Record states it's Pluckley uh, as most haunted. Okay, how do they gauge most haunted place on the Guinness World Record? What are they what, what's the parameters for that? I'm looking up uh, Hackney now, but uh, nothing says most haunted. It's a joke. <laughs> I live in Hackney. Hackney, big up to Hackney, Idris Elbows from Hackney. If you have to explain the joke, though, it's not funny. <laughs> well, there's truth to that as well. There's truth to that as well. I try to avoid having to explain jokes. Um, but yeah. <laughs> if you have to explain, if you have to tell people it's a joke, it's yeah, it probably just wasn't funny. That's that's another thing as well. So people make reports on uh, hauntings and okay, that sort of thing. I'll tell you what I did. So here's the thing. I'll tell you, I'll tell you one joke I did. So yeah, after that incident with the um, with the heckler, the following week, I came back and I, I like I said, I, I addressed that incident. What is your most offensive joke? Hmm, let me think about it for a sec. But uh, here's what happened the following week. I said to them, so yeah, last week, you know, I came out and I was trying to tell some jokes and I got heckled. People thought I was being rude towards transgender uh, people. And you know, that wasn't the case, right? And then I wanted to say that what you might not actually know about me is that I'm trans myself. So trans is when what's going on in your mind, you know, your brain doesn't quite match up with what's going on on the outside. And for me, this is the body that I was born into. But for the longest time, I really felt like I should have been born as one of Will Smith's kids. <laughs> that was my follow up joke for the, on the next week. <laughs> I don't know what my most offensive joke is actually. To be honest, I'm not sure. Oh, here's the thing. I wouldn't say it's offensive because I don't think it is. But I'll say my most, say, risque, naughty joke, if you will. I'll, I'll tell you what that is. I'll tell you that joke. Uh, there's a channel which is uh, which I subscribe to and they let you perform, but it's a Zoom only Boom, boom. 
Yeah, no, there's things like that set up around, and I've seen them. I've done, I've done, I've done like the internet thing. In fact, one of my internet videos, one of my internet stand-ups is on the channel as well. I, I don't hate them. I, I, I do. I just prefer the, 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 the live audience when it comes down to it. Even because even with a live audience, even when it goes bad, it still goes well. That's why. That's how I feel about it. So I'd rather have a live audience. So um, but I did do a, I did do a um internet one, and it was all right. It was all right. And but you know, you can let me know what you think of it. Um, so here's my most um, risque, naughtiest joke, if you will. But you can let me know if, you're, if you find it offensive. I don't think it's offensive, but if you find it offensive, you can let me know. Um, so here, here's a joke. Um, how's it go now? So yeah, so the whole um, um, Me Too movement, right? Now, um, out of all the celebrities that were getting accused of of various things, like the one that really got to me the most was Bill Cosby. Because here's the thing, you've got to understand that I was a massive Bill Cosby fan as a kid, like massive Bill Cosby fan. Like I'd watch a Cosby show, you know, I was really, really inspired by that show. Really big inspiration for me. And you got to know that. I mean, I used to look at, I used to watch a Cosby show. I used to look at Bill Cosby and think to myself, man, I wish this guy was my dad. You know, I wish Bill Cosby was my dad. And now, after all these years, after everything that's happened, all the allegations and all the accusations and the deposition and everything that's happened, I look at Bill Cosby now and I think to myself, maybe he is. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Playing it back uh, to hear it again. Nice. <laughs> Actually, here's here's an offensive joke. Well, again, I don't think it's offensive, but it's this 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 can get this 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 could potentially get you in trouble, depending on who you say it to. <laughs> I've said that one before. Yeah, I've done that one live. That it went, it went down pretty well actually. To be honest, I feel like that's probably one of my best jokes that I've ever done. In all honesty. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's one of my favorite ones, at least, anyway. Um, appreciate that, man, appreciate that. But let me tell you, uh, this this one, if you, if you take, but I say, this one, this one could get you in trouble depending on who you say it to. So here's, here's, here's this one. I've done this one live as well. So, um, you know, I'm trying to be healthy, and a friend of mine suggested that uh, I should go vegan, right? So I thought, all right, cool, I'll, I'll try, I'll go vegan, you know, and I did it for a while. But I tell you, that is hard, man. Being vegan is hard. And here's the thing, it's not even that, you can't eat meat. Like, I managed to give up meat, that was fine. You know, I even managed to give up cheesecake as well. You know, I managed to do it. But the thing that made being a vegan really hard for me was the bit where you had to tell somebody every 10 minutes that you're a vegan. You know, I, <laughs> I don't have that many friends, really, so <laughs> it, was, it was hard. That one might piss a few people off if you uh, say it in front of the wrong crowd. I said that one, uh, I think there was at least one vegan in the crowd when I said that one. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure that, I think so. I've done a few vegan jokes actually, to be honest. I kind of got to a point where I realized I write a lot of vegan jokes, what's going on? <laughs> Maybe I'm trying to say something. But I've got, I've had, I've done a few vegan jokes. The vegans will cancel you, hey, <laughs> for real. Be like, cancel, haze cancelled. <laughs> But yeah, I, I do want to get back to stand up. I mean, I feel for me, as uh, when it comes to comedy, my main focus is the sketch comedy because I really like doing like those types of videos, and those are really fun for me to do. And I feel like I, you, you could, I feel like you could you could generally express yourself a bit more freely when you're doing sketch videos, just because it's all like just under your control and all you. And maybe maybe I'm a control freak. That's that's probably why. Um, that being said, I think there's something about stand up that you just can't match anywhere else. It's, it's the live nature of it and the fact that you can say something and you would know very, very quickly if it works or not, you know. And I just also love that idea, the fact that you can tell a joke in one place and it could bomb and you can tell that same joke somewhere else and it, and they love it, you know. And you, you never know which crowds you're going to get, you know. So, yeah, there's, there's definitely that thing about stand up that just kind of keeps you on your toes a little bit where you, you kind of have to know what you want to say but also at the same time try to work with the audience to get the the most laughs as you can you know so um yeah 
Uh, what about sex jokes? Uh, you get in trouble for those? Um, I don't have too many sex jokes, actually. I mean, I've, got, I've got a few, but to be honest, it's not something I write a lot about. Um, what is a vegan? Uh, I hear it a lot. A vegan is somebody who does... Oh, wait, no idea what a vegan is. I like sausages. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a vegan is somebody who does not eat any meat or animal products so no cheese no milk nothing dairy like that eggs you know some vegans don't even eat honey either um, so no meat and nothing no animal products is what a vegan is um, some extend it further to uh, be like you know they don't wear leather they don't you know do all kinds of things that involve animals but general basic definition is no meat no dairy or animal products. How they even live well. <laughs> Very miserably, put it that way. <laughs> actually, no, to be fair, I actually did go vegan for a month last year. I went, it was like, you know, the January. I, I, I did that for the month of January last year. And, you know, I think in fairness, though, there are a, quite a lot of very nice, you know, good vegan foods, healthy vegan foods that taste nice and you know things like that like i tried a vegan pizza that was really nice i really dig that pizza actually it was really nice pizza um vegan cakes vegan um uh uh other stuff i can't remember right now but yeah there is a lot of vegan food that's quite nice i would say with the cakes so you've got to be careful because they are very very high in sugar you know sometimes people put sometimes people um hear the word vegan i think that means it's healthy it just means there's no meat or dairy it doesn't mean it's healthy like vegan cakes are very high in sugar you know, so, uh, but they, they taste nice. At least the ones I had did taste nice. So, um, yeah. But the way I see it is that, I mean, I do think personally for me, I do want to cut down on meat because I know in, in the past I've eaten like way too much meat. I know that. Um, and I think just for myself, for my health, for just, you know, all that, I, I, I don't feel like I need to cut down on, on the amount of meat I eat. But to go completely vegan, nah. I don't think so. I did it. I did it once. I don't need to do it again. <laughs> I don't need to do that again. They have a dickhead mentality. Mm. Vegan toothpaste. That was probably a thing. We should do a cooking segment. I just might actually. I just might. I just might. You know. Let me tell you one of my um. Yeah, let me tell you one of my sex jokes since we're talking about comedy. I just one last joke before we uh before we wrap up today. I tried this um in a in a stand up set and it seemed to go well. And I did it again in uh for these ladies that uh, in a cab and they didn't seem to like it. <laughs> so let's see what you guys think of this one. So um So yeah, my next door uh yeah. Uh yeah, so uh here we go. So I was quarantined next to this um, lady uh, back in the beginning of quarantine, and you know, it's nice uh, young lady, very pretty, very um, um, sweet young lady, very a uh, very um, uh, religious you know lady as well, which is cool because you know we have that in common. And you know, this one day, this one night, I hear some noises coming from her apartment. Now I don't know. It is Wonder Woman, by the way. Yes, it is. <laughs> Wonder Woman. There we go. Um, so I hear these noises coming from her apartment. Now, I don't know if she's watching a porno, yeah, or if, you know, she's got company, right? Now, because I don't know what's going on, I don't know how to react. Because here's the thing. If she was watching a porno, I mean, look, I understand, I get it. You know, people get lonely, need to take care of themselves. You know, maybe not the best way to do it, but no judgment, I understand. But if she was with somebody, you know, actually having premarital sex, then I've got to say, I'm pretty disappointed in her. I'm very, very disappointed in her. Because surely by now she should know to invite me over to watch. Like, what the hell, man? I thought we were friends. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Not everybody does, though, so... <laughs> <laughs> Glad you like it though. <laughs> amongst, amongst good company. Glad you like it. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, your jokes are very British. 
Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. I guess. I guess. I mean, there's some good British com- comedians out there, so I guess I, I'm I'm glad to be considered amongst them. But then there's some bad co- British comedians out there as well. So maybe you meant those guys. <laughs> Watch from the cupboard. <laughs> Drill a hole in the wall and peek. <laughs> Actually, don't do that. That's 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 just wrong. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It's British kind of humour. All right, cool, cool. To be fair, that was rude. <laughs> yeah, let's not be rude, guys. Let's not be rude. Ooh, ah. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna learn today. Um, yeah, I think I think that's a good place to start wrapping up. We had some fun today. We did Movie Night. We watched Soul Survivor, Cool Flick, 1984, 80s horror slash thriller slash psychological slash whatever you want to call it movie. Um, pretty cool film. No, let's be very rude. Norman Bates, uh, in the house. <laughs> I'm not inviting you. Not the jo- oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, I guess in that case, yeah, let's not be rude. Invite people over. <laughs> Still, let's not be rude. When you're next in time. When you in next time. When, when you in next time. Um, Yeah, so there's still no live stream schedule just yet. I'm trying. I think I've done most Mondays so far, so hopefully we can at least do that. Um... Friday maybe I hope I can get some time to stream on Friday evening um, but yeah that, that waits to be seen but yeah I mean right at the moment it's really just me trying to stream as much as I can probably not tomorrow I'd say uh, most likely um, I'll drive cabin all day tomorrow um, so probably not tomorrow but um, yeah well, I do want to stream as much as I can uh, like I said I do want to do more live streams but more like like games moving nice reactions all kinds of stuff I think live is is mostly what I want to do but in the meantime yeah check out the the videos uh, I do reaction videos I do reviews I do vlogs I do whatever I, I'm thinking in a moment um, check out my other channels as well yeah the comedy channel Hayes Hilarious and if you happen to like movies and um, talking about movies then I do have a movie channel as well Hayes's Movie Room where I talk a little bit more in depth about movies and video games as well. So yeah, check that out if that takes your fancy. Um, that that actually that that channel needs some love actually. <laughs> that channel needs a lot of love. So yeah, if you could check that out, it'd be much appreciated. Um, do a cooking segment. We'll see, man. We'll see. I'll have to learn how to cook first though. So uh, there's that. Unless it's going to be like how to make cereal. That'd be my cooking segment. Um, <laughs> that actually could be a good video. I might have to write that one down. Oh. <laughs> But um, yeah, um, so yeah, hopefully, if, if not sooner than Friday, uh, I'll be streaming next. And um, yeah, we'll kind of go from there, see what we're doing on, on, on Friday. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be all for now. Guys, you have been awesome as always. I appreciate you and all that you do. Thanks for keeping me company. Thanks for keeping it lively. Village is strong because you make it strong. Where's my wig? I don't, I've got plenty of wigs. They're over in my drawer. But yeah, I'm going to put them now. The movie one? Oh, the movie channel. Okay, let me get you a link for the movie channel. Um, this is... Uh, let me write this down. B-I-T dot L-Y. That's the wrong one. B-I-T dot L-Y slash Hayes's Movie Room. There you go. If you click on that, that will take you to my movie slash video game channel where I'll talk a little bit more in depth uh, about movies. But with that one, I will say the general idea of that channel is to be entertaining as well as informative with the movie so hopefully i'm doing that but you know let me know what you think if you watch their videos there um have wigs some of your videos show you with it. yeah i have i have a few wigs actually i have a uh, three wigs maybe four i have a few wigs I have a few different wigs um they're cheap wigs i bought them on amazon that's <laughs> cheap wigs and by the way when i bought those cheap wigs that let me know why some wigs are really expensive because the cheap ones I got do itch. That's why I don't do too many videos with uh, wigs. <laughs> when I do them, I'll take them off real quick. They're itchy, they get in my eyes. I'm not constantly doing this all the time. So yeah, now, now I know why certain wigs are super expensive. I bought some cheap wigs, you get what you pay for. But you know what, they're fine. They, they do what they need to do for what I use them for, so it's all good. Um, but yeah, 
yeah that's going to be it for now oh, it's not letting me get onto it it just says report or block damn what you doing all right let me uh, try this then let me just put a direct link let me try that one i said that should work hopefully that should work are you writing to? Uh, are you writing a book? I've written a book actually. Um, it's not available anywhere, but I did write a book and it was self-published. Um, in fact, I wrote two books, um, and they were both they were both self-published. Um, one was a story. One was a p book of poetry, um, and they were available for a little while, but yeah, they're not available anymore. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I mean, I might revisit it. We'll see. Never say never. We'll see how life, where, where life takes me, but I will say it's not quite where my mind's at right now. My writing these days tends to be more about uh, comedy videos and you know comedy sketches and writing those and that and that kind of thing and trying to think of things that are funny and hopefully other people find funny as well. And then of course writing the, co the videos for the uh, Hayes uh, Movie Room channel and putting those out. So that's mostly what I write these days. But you know, never say never, right? Never say never. We'll see how life goes. Um, uh big up sam um i want to I want to know where the books are what are they called um they're not available anymore but one was called school sucks that was a story and then the other was i can't remember what it was called actually it was a it was a, it was a poetry book just a book of poems that i'd written that i'd published um i don't remember what i called it at the end though apart from the biden jokes <laughs> Biden. I just bided my time with that one. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. All right, all right, all right. All right, guys. Yeah. Big up to everybody coming through. Big up to you and your crew. School sucks by Hayes Days. Nah, like I say, it's not quite available, but that wasn't the name I was using. That was not the name I was using. That was not the name I was using. Let me just leave that there. Maybe I'll republish it one day. What's we'll how I'm feeling? <laughs> What's how I'm feeling? Biden is a joke. Uh, uh, but we could talk about that for a whole hour, can't we? But you know what? <laughs> I mean, all I'm going to say on that is there's a reason why people don't trust politicians. I'm just going to say that and leave that there. <laughs> You know, there's a reason why there's a lot of people out there who just don't trust politicians. It's not about conservative or liberal or Democrats or Republican or this, that and the other. It's just a lot of people out there just don't trust politicians. And there's 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 reasons for that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, let me let me just leave that there. Let me just leave that there. Um, but yeah, big up everybody coming through. Hopefully I'll be streaming again soon. But in the meantime, yeah, make sure to check out some videos on this channel and other channels. Um, guys, you're the best, man. This village is cool, man. This village is strong because you make it strong. <laughs> Snake. <laughs> Snake in the grass. Yeah. And just, uh, just as a, a snake uh, sheds its skin, sometimes people change from pre-election to post-election. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But hey, I'm no expert. I don't really follow it that much. I just see what I see. So I leave that for the other channels to, to talk about. They can go into more detail. <laughs> I just keep my mouth shut about certain things because I don't really know too much when it comes to it. That's actually a thing, by the way. I don't, there's certain things I'd rather not talk about because when it comes down to it, I'd have to I have to admit to myself that I'm no... I mean, I'm not expert on most things, to be honest with you, but I think there's a certain things where it's like I recognise I don't have like an in-depth knowledge as um, like some of the other channels do. But that being said, even if even without having an in-depth knowledge of politics and what goes on in, in all that kind of stuff, and, you know, I know what I know. I know what I know. And I, I, I hopefully I'm not ignorant. You know, maybe I don't know all the little details, but, you know, hopefully I'm not ignorant. So all I'm going to say is, yeah. There's a reason why people don't trust politicians. But anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, guys. Till whatever. If ever. Peace. 
and I'm just going to sit here awkwardly before this well, this changes over. Let me do a little dance, waiting for the screen to change. There we go. 